Good day, this is MC Squared Coaching Center at isa naman pong uh, lecture video ang i-offer namin sa inyo. Again, ito pa rin po ay mathematics and na pwede po siyang gamitin natin sa para sa ating civil service exam mathematics review. Okay? So, ang topic po natin ngayon ay fractions. So, this is, ang topic is fraction and then part 1 pa lang po ito ng fraction na topic sa mathematics. Okay? So, magsisimula po tayo dito kung ano po talaga yung fraction, ano po yung mga types of fraction. And then, and so on, sa lectures natin, magpuproceed din tayo sa operations ng fractions. Okay? When we say operations, yun, yun po yung addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. And then, i-discussin natin dito sa series na to ng uh, ano po uh, LCM or GCF ng fraction okay so again good day i'm engineer melvin jan habla bansuelo cis okay i'm engineer melvin habla bansuelo that is cis okay simulan na po natin So, problem number one, what is the fraction if the denominator is 3 and the numerator is 2? Okay? Ano po daw yung fraction if the denominator is 3 and the numerator is 2? So, is it letter A, 3 halves? Letter B, 2 third? Letter C, 2 over 30? Letter D, 20 over 30? Okay? So, tandaan lang, if may fraction tayo na A... A over B, okay, anong tawag sa A? Ang tawag po sa A, yan po yung, what? Basta nasa taas, yan po yung numerator. Okay, yan po yung numerator natin. Si A, yung sa taas, numerator. Then therefore, kung sa taas is numerator, ano po yung nasa baba? So, yung nasa baba po natin, yan po yung tinatawag natin na denominator. So, kung pagbabasihan natin sa problem class, ang denominator daw natin is 3. Okay? Denominator natin is 3. And then, ang uh, numerator natin is is what? Ano yung numerator natin? Numerator natin is 2. So, therefore, if the numerator is 2, sulat natin, numerator is 2, then therefore, and denominator is 3. Okay? So, yan po yung base sa given. Yung sa taas, ito po yung numerator. Sa baba, that is denominator. And it's very obvious na po yung sagot sa problem na to. The answer is letter B. Again, sa isang fraction, yung nasa taas po ng fraction, just like halimbawa a fraction A over B, ang nasa taas, yan po yung numerator. Yung nasa baba, yan po yung denominator. And then sa problem, given ang denominator na 3, therefore sa baba po is 3, ayan po siya, that is sa baba ang 3, and yung numerator is 2, therefore sa taas is 2 po as our numerator. Okay? Problem number 2, which of the following is considered a proper fraction? Tandaan, sa fraction meron tayong 3 types ng fraction. Meron tayong tinatawag na proper fraction, Meron din tayong tinatawag na improper fraction and then meron din tayong tinatawag na na mixed fraction. So tatlo lang po yung types of fraction natin. Now in this problem, yung tinatanong po dito, which of the following is considered a proper fraction? Is it letter A 5 over 5, letter B 6 over 5, letter C non uh, no 8 over 9? Letter D, none of the above. Okay. So, if a fraction, if yung decimal niya is a fraction, if yung fraction, if yung decimal, decimal niya is less than 1, then therefore, that is proper fraction. If that is equal to 1 or greater than 1, that is improper fraction. So, balik tayo sa isang fraction. Yung nasa taas is numerator and yung nasa baba is denominator. Para matawag po natin siya na proper fraction, dapat mas maliit po yung nasa taas compared ng nasa baba. So, therefore, numerator must be less than denominator. And sa choices natin, yung nagsatisfy lang na mas maliit yung nasa taas 
kumpara ng nasa baba is si letter C. Again, para masabi natin proper fraction, dapat mas maliit ang nasa taas. Ano yung tawag natin na number na nasa taas? Yan po yung numerator. Compared sa baba, yan po yung denominator. Sa, sa letter A, equal po yung numerator at saka denominator. Sa letter B, mas malaki po yung numerator compared to denominator. Sa letter C, mas maliit na po si numerator compared to denominator. So therefore, ang correct answer sa problem number 2, that is letter C. Okay, so the problem number 3. Kanina ang tanong natin is ano po yung proper fraction. Ngayon naman, ang tanong naman dito sa problem na to, alin naman dito sa choices yung improper fraction. Okay? So which of the following is considered an improper fraction? Okay? Is it letter A 5 over 5, letter B 6 over 5, letter C 8 over 9, letter D both A and B? A and B. So, sa exam class, mag-ingat po tayo kasi common po na ginagawa ng mga student, ang sagot po nila dito is letter B. Kasi nga, ang always matandaan na pag sinabi natin improper fraction, yung decimal value niya dapat greater than 1. Or, dapat daw is what? Yung numerator is mas malaki compared sa denominator. And sa tatlo nila, ito rin yung satisfy. Kasi, yung numerator is mas malaki sa denominator. Sa letter B, yung numerator is 6, and then denominator niya is 5. The tendency, isasagot natin kaagad na letter B. But take note, in this problem, hindi po letter B yung correct answer. But the correct answer here is both A and B, that is letter D, because according to the definition, Ang isang fraction, para matawag mo na improper fraction, kailangan yung numerator is greater or equal to the denominator. So, ang, ang ibig ko pong sabihin dun po class is, pag yung numerator is equal sa denominator, that is still improper fraction. Therefore, itong letter A na to is an improper fraction. Letter B na to is an improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator. Again, ulitin ko ha. Si letter A improper kasi numerator equal sa denominator. Si letter B, this is improper because numerator is greater than the denominator. So therefore, dalawa ang dapat tandaan para ang isang fraction matawag po natin na improper fraction. Dapat yung numerator is equal or greater than the denominator. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter, ayun, that is letter D. Both A and B. Problem number four, for which of the following fractions is its reciprocal a proper fraction? Now, ano nga ba yung reciprocal class? Review natin. Pag sinabi kasi natin, ano yung ibig sabihin ng, anong ibig sabihin nitong word na reciprocal? Okay. Ang ibig sabihin kasi sa reciprocal, halimbawa, if may fraction tayo na A over B. Okay. Yung reciprocal niya, form, anong reciprocal nito? Lagay ko dito ha, this is reciprocal. Okay. Yung reciprocal form ni a over B is balik ta rin lang natin. That is B over A. Okay? So, balik ta lang. Yun na po yung reciprocal niya. So, sa letter A, kahit balik ta rin mo, 5 over 5 pa rin. And take note, if equal yung numer numerator at saka denominator, this is what? This is an improper. Okay? So, lagay natin imp. So, that is an improper fraction. Okay? Pag pa ang reciprocal niya. So, that is improper fraction. Okay. Now, si letter B naman, yung reciprocal niya is 4 over 3. And as is pa rin, 4 over 3 kasi mas malaki yung numerator kumpara sa denominator that is still improper fraction. Okay? Same sa taas. Next, si letter... Si letter... Uy, sorry. Kamali. Okay? So, sa mga uh, nanonood, 
letter A ito letter B po ito sorry po na typo error this is letter C and this is letter D okay paki take note na lang po natin okay si letter C 9 over 8 ang reciprocal niya balik na rin natin is 8 over 9 so therefore si letter C is magiging proper fraction bakit naging proper fraction yung reciprocal ni letter C kasi nga is mas maliit yung numerator kumpara sa denominator. Si letter D naman is 6 over 3 and that is improper fraction. Okay, improper fraction si letter D. Okay, imp lang yung nilagay ko as improper fraction. So therefore, ano yung hanapin natin? Anong hanapin natin dito class? That is proper. Okay, ito yung hanapin natin proper fraction. So, therefore, ang reciprocal daw is proper fraction and it's very obvious that is letter C that is 9 over 8. Next, problem number 5. Ano po yung problem number 5? Ito na po yung third type ng fraction. We have which one of the following is a mixed fraction. Now, ano nga ba yung mixed fraction class? Pag sinabing mixed fraction, that is combination ng whole number and a proper fraction. Again, ha, whole number and a proper fraction and not by an improper fraction. So, base sa choices, medyo mali din yung ano class. Sulat ko muna, letter A, ito letter B, ito letter C, and then ito letter D. Okay? So, para sa mga viewers natin, tandaan lang. So, this is letter A, letter B, letter C, and letter D. So, sabi dito, a mixed fraction is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So, sa ta, apat natin na choices class, isa lang yung satisfy dito. Yan po yung si letter, letter B. 5 3 4 Kasi itong 5, ito yung, ito yung whole number. Okay, yan po yung whole number. Itong 3 4 na to, yan po yung proper fraction. Okay? So, therefore, a correct answer sa problem number 5, that is, letter B, that is 5, 3, 4. Okay? Thank you for watching and I hope you learn from this topic, Fractions Part 1 ng ating Civil Service Exam Review. Ang next topic natin is Fractions pa rin, Part 2. Okay? Bago ang uh, next topic nito, kung nanonood kayo ng video, hanapin niyo po yung Fractions Part 2. Again, if may tanong, hanapin niyo po ako sa Facebook or Messenger. You can message me and you can give me the certain problem or topics na tinatanong ninyo. And if ever yung tanong ninyo is nasa video ko, pwede niyong screenshot yung specific slide sa video and then bilugan niyo po and then itatanong niyo po sa akin. Again, as long as na bakanti po ako, I'll try my best na sagutan po yung tanong ninyo. Okay? So, Again, thank you for watching and uh, bago ako mag-end, if gusto nyo po yung one-on-one -on -one talaga mag-focusan ng coaching o kahit sa, ano kayo sa Pilipinas, online coaching, you can message me and then mapag-usapan natin paano po natin siya gawin. So, so, so again, please subscribe. Bakit kailangan natin mag-subscribe? Para every time mag upload ako ng new videos, ma-update po kayo or ma-notify po kayo ni YouTube. And then, please share also to others para naman makatulong din tayo sa mga uh, nagre-review din kagaya natin. So, sayang naman, ang main goal ko kasi dito is makatulong sa mga uh, nag-aaral. So, kahit na hindi para sa civil service exam review, okay, so kahit na sa school natin, nakakatulong naman yung topics na na tinuturo po natin dito. Again, thank you, thank you, and have a nice day.